Welcome back to another video of relative security and today we are going to talk about three more terminologies and those are SIM, XOR and XDR. In the last video we talked about different terminologies related to antivirus, EPP, EDR and XDR but today we are going to talk about SIM, XOR and SOR and XDR. Sorry. So let's start with the SIM. That came the first before XDR or SOAR. So SIM is a tool that collects, aggregates, normalizes the data and analyzes it according to the preset rules and presents the data in a human readable format. The rule of the SIM is if you put in garbage, it is going to give you garbage because if you're not giving it enough data, some credible data based on which it can analyze that data according to the preset rules, it is not going to give you anything useful. Different functionalities are associated with SIM, log collection, aggregation, rule-based alerts, artificial intelligence and response. And other, um, other than the detection of uh, different attacks according to the preset rules, it is also used for compliance purposes, for collecting the logs, storing them, and for the long-term uh, compliance. So in short, the cyber SIM is a cybersecurity technology that provides different security operations with the incident data for cyber threat monitoring and response. Now, SIM is providing the data. The SIM itself is not doing the response. It is providing the enough data by collecting and putting in the centralized place all the logs and other data from the endpoints and the network for analysis. Some solutions have started to add some different techniques like machine learning and behavioral, behavioral analytics to identify suspicious network traffic also. But the limitation with the SIM is that the countermeasures are typically limited only to just push the alerts to the SOC. They cannot automatically respond to the threats. Now, how do you respond to the threats now? Because when you have a SIM, you have lots of alerts being generated based on the analysis that the SIM is doing. And those alerts have to be looked by somebody. These are usually the level one SOC analysts. Now, one of the challenge when you're running a SOC is security operation center is that you have an alert fatigue. There are thousands of alerts being triggered, which nobody has the time to look at. There comes your next solution, and that is SOAR. SOAR is basically a security orchestration and automated response platform. It is used by mature security operations teams to construct and run multi-stage playbooks that automate the actions across different security solutions within your environment. Now, what is a playbook? Now imagine you have an alert, it's a basic level alert, but you know that this alert keeps on triggering every other day and you have the same response to that. Now this is where your time is being consumed in closing those alerts, which are known false positive. Now one thing is that you change the algorithm or change the rule within the same solution to mark it as excluded or mark it as exclusion into the rule that if this particular XYZ happens, do not trigger an alarm. But even then, you will have enough alerts being triggered that you cannot respond to everything alone. That is where you have to create playbooks. Playbooks is basically number of steps written by security experts that okay, if X, Y, Z happens, this is the different step that we are going to take. And that is being fed within the SOAR. So SOAR tools ingest data from multiple sources, such as maybe threat intelligence feeds, uh, just to get the latest attack signatures, phishing emails, and then gets integrated with other security tools, just like SIM, or any other IPS IDS that you want to 
um, integrate with the SOAR. But the main part is that these playbooks must be set in this. Custom alert levels must be set in this. What are the response that we want to take for those alerts that are being fed into the SOAR that have to be taken care of? So it's a method of connecting disparate security technologies through standardized and automatable workflows. Because if you're not automating those workflows, if you're not writing the right playbooks, the SOAR will not be helpful. It will not enable your security team to effectively carry out the incident's incident response. So now, same is collecting the logs, doing the correlation, and triggering the alerts based on the preset rules. SOAR is getting the information from the same and other technologies and automating and it is just executing the responses based on the playbooks that you have been defining and putting in the SOAR. And those are the like automatable workflows. If, if uh, P1 alert is being triggered, email it to somebody. If you see a network traffic, to some command and control center. If this alert comes to the SOAR, probably the right playbook would be isolate the machine if you can. If there is that particular security solution within your environment and it is integrated with the SOAR, you can write a playbook within the SOAR that if you find this kind of alert, you isolate that particular machine or you can put that IP into the into the firewall logs, into sorry, into the firewall rules that put a deny rule on that particular IP. So this is where the SOAR comes in. So the next solution is XDR. This is something that we discussed when we were talking about the EDRs and EVP. And now XDR is basically an extended detection and response solution. It is also collecting and automatically correlating data across multiple security layers. It could be endpoint, email, server, network. But this allows you to have like faster detection of threats. In the case of SIM and SOAR, you have a SIM that is collecting the logs. It is doing the analysis on those logs and then creating only the alerts. Now, there are two functions that we can summarize on the SIM. It analyzes the logs and creates the alerts. Second purpose is the compliance purpose, where it stores the logs for a longer term. In the case of SOAR, it is connected to different technologies, but it is more of responding to those different alerts that it gets. XDR, on the other hand, is collecting the logs from the entire environment and is responding as well. It is detecting as well as responding to those attacks also by itself. So it basically expands on the capabilities of the EDR, Endpoint Detection Response. It also addresses the network domain, even cross domain to protect the organization's entire digital environment, including the network, the cloud storage applications and endpoints. So the question begs is, what is the difference between the XDR, SOAR and SIM and which one to use? Now, I mean, if XDR is also collecting the logs from entire environment, same as also doing the same thing, then where is the difference? One more thing related to XDR is that it also integrates a range of investigative tools uh, where which have like traditionally been different security products. And these are like merged into one single, um, uh, single product. It also breaks down like different siloed approach uh, for uh, detection and response. For example, if you were just using endpoint, a solution for endpoint detection, then a solution for network detection, another solution for, let's say, email, this all is combined within the XDR and it can like proactively context aware, ma can make the context aware adjustment to your network and endpoint defenses without using any other solution. For example, in the case of SIM, you're using SOAR. In the XDR, you're not going to use any other solution. The XDR itself can do the correlation and it can itself respond to the attacks. So just to summarize, 
So the sim is primarily just a log collection tool, which is intended to support the compliance, data storage, and analysis. The analysis part is like the capability that is like added to the sim solution and is limited by the rules that are being defined within the sim solution. Only those rules will trigger the alerts. Other than triggering the alerts based on those rules and the compliance purposes, there is no functionality that is can be associated with the SIM solution in terms of responding to any threats. In the case of SOAR, it incorporates orchestration, automation, and response capabilities to the SIM solution. Because SIM is only alerting it, the SOAR goes one step above and responds to those alerts also based on the playbooks that we will define. But SOAR does not solve the big data analytics challenge, nor does it protect any data or the systems on its own. It is dependent on the integrated solutions. In the case of XDR, now this is going to cover both SIM and SOAR through different approach, which is based on top of the EDR solutions. It has advanced analysis capabilities that enable the organization to focus on the right prioritized events and response right away from the same solution. I hope the discussion between the XDR, SOAR and SIM was quite helpful. And I mean, they are not in competition to each other. They can work side by side. SIM and SOAR, definitely they need to work side by side. XDR, SOAR, they can be integrated also, depending on how your organizational structure, how your SOC is functioning, and how do you want to take those different security solutions and merge them together or integrate them together to improve the overall security of your organization. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.